Welcome, Manuel. Thank you. Please, stage is yours. Stage is for me. Thank you very much. Welcome to my little presentation today. So before we start with um, our process control innovation, we have to consider what are the drivers in process industries today. And therefore, we have to know that in the process industry, when you imagine, for example, a large petrochemical plant or an oil rig, it takes two to three years of engineering time to create and commission this plant. And it takes another 30 years or even more that the plant is in operation. That means it's a huge investment, a really high commitment also from our customers. And so it's important to see what, what are the drivers today and what are also the challenges. If you imagine, for example, as you can see it here at the pharmaceutical um, area, a pharmaceutical product, we have individualized medicine nowadays. So you can imagine that this is a batch process which is very difficult to manufacture and also to, to steer. We have higher standards and regulations in our industries because we always have to make sure that the security is, um, is considered, that the regulations are up to date, and that we consider this all also in regard to the documentation of the plant and our processes in order to fulfill the requirements of um, legal authorities, for example. Another topic is, you can imagine this oil rig I already mentioned. It's only producing value in the time it is under operations. Means when you have a shutdown of the system, for example, to do a maintenance work, this is only cost for our customers, right? So it has to be available at least 24-7, 360 days a, um, a year. And for sure, safety and security is always important. Security to protect your um, intellectual rights, your, your knowledge, but also process safety because environmental protection, health protection and safety is always um, one of the key topics. But today there's also critical factors that have an influence on being competitive for our customers in oil and gas, in chemicals, in pharmaceuticals, but also in uh, food and beverage industry. Chris already mentioned we are producing chips here right now live, food and beverage industry. So how can these companies be competitive and remain competitive. And therefore, the process control system, what I'm talking about right now, is one of the key elements because it steers out the entire process of the production. So today, coming back to the example of an oil rig, um, the engineering does not take place somewhere in a building in Hanover. It takes place, for example, specialists in Sweden doing the process engineering, specialists in India doing the IT and um, all the electrical engineering, for example. So these guys have to collaborate in real time normally. So how can we ensure that? How can our customers ensure that? How can we take benefits out of the cloud? We already had some interesting speeches regarding our MindSphere ecosystem. How can we integrate data with them? How can we analyze our production process? This is critical for our customers here. And for sure, operational efficiency. The plant has to be operated as efficient as possible um, during the overall lifetimes. And another topic is for sure the business models. The times are changing, we have changing technologies and the business models do the same. They are also changing. But what does that mean for process control technology? So we introduced this week on Monday a completely new process control system. A process control system, which is completely web-based, which is easy to use right from the start. Even I, I'm not an engineer, but I can work with it. So <laughs> that's it. And what's also important is the information, consistent information management, that you always can rely that the information that you're seeing right there on your computer, for example, that this information that you see here and that you need to make decisions is up to date and you can rely on that, right? And we defined four use cases to explain why this new system could be of highest potential for the future of our customers. One is system access. Imagine what possibilities you have with a system which is completely web-based. You have access to all information at any time. That means you do not have the installation effort that you have today. Today, you install your engineering system at a specific place. You have your licenses. 
you have your roles, your users. If you want to expand the system, you need to have another, um, another computer with your engineering system. This can be now done without any installation effort because you just can assign each and every office computer and make it an engineering station. Another topic is that in regard to administration and also to in regard to security, you can do all the um, administration from a central point because via web you can send out updates, upgrades, and all that in run. You don't need to um, shut down the system to do so. And what's also important is that you can use this system device independent. So I brought with me the process control system that can be used over there. And it can also be applied on a tablet computer. So this is um, quite a huge step forward and gives you much more flexibility. Why? We will see later. The second topic is usability. I already mentioned it. It's really of highest importance that it is as easy to use as possible. Because those who are working with it do not want to spend a fortune of um, effort to familiarize with the system to be um, searching for data, filter the information they need. So therefore, it's really important to have a really intuitive user interface that should also work on tablet computers. You have to have a clear and structured overview, and all information must be available for immediate decision making at this point of time. What we did is, in the engineering, one workbench for all applications. That means when we are engineering and operating a plant, there's a lot of disciplines technical, process engineering, automation, instrumentation, they all have to work together. And so we said, OK, wouldn't it be cool to have one workbench for all applications, and each and every one just does only have this one workbench to be potentially doing each and everything without system exchange, something like this. This is really special. And for sure, object-oriented data model. That means on object-oriented data management, which means you have, for example, a pump, and you have all information only at one time at this object. Means you have, for example, the function charts, the sequences. Each and everything is linked to this object. So you do not have information inconsistencies, which make it com really fail safe and protect from errors. This is one of them. And for sure, we also made up our mind what's important for the future. Wouldn't it be nice to interact with your process control system via voice control? Ask the system, are there alarms that I have to um, take into consideration? Where are failures where I have to send my maintenance stuff to, to be able to um, fix it as fast as possible? These are also topics that we took into consideration which will be possible. Third out of four use cases, collaboration. I already mentioned it, that the engineering, for example, of an oil rig is taking place nowadays all over the world. I have a team in Germany, maybe. I have a team in Norway, which has to operate the oil field later on. I have a team in China doing the, um, the engineering, another team in India. How can we make sure that all these people really efficiently collaborate together? Today, we send an email, we call via telephone if I need help in my project because I cannot solve a problem. But to, tomorrow, we do it quite easy. We take, because it's a web-based system, just a link, send it via email to our colleagues, give him the appropriate user rights, access to the system, and he can do the editing of the data within the project. He can self solve my problem, my colleague around the world. This is completely secure. We have a session management. Um, in behind that makes sure that only the changes that I, as an administrator, want are completely checked into the system. Um, so this is really efficient collaboration, and that makes sure that people can work and interact in real time at this point of time. Um, another topic talking about collaboration. Today, when we have the commissioning, means engineering is fixed. Now there's a handover of all the data to the operator to make sure that he can operate the plant. Um, we have one guy in the field checking if the wiring is, uh, uh, is uh, all right. Another guy in the control room who says, OK, I have an alarm somewhere here. And um, today, we make it like this. We only equip 
the guy in the field with a tablet, and he has access to the system. And he can see, oh, my wiring does not work. I have a mistake here. I switch to the engineering view, check if the connections are right, and then I go back when I solve the problem and see it is running or not. So this is really absolutely safe, error-prone, very efficient, and I can also speed up the commissioning um, significantly. Last but not least, scalability. I already mentioned a pharmaceutical um, company, for example. Imagine a startup that has a really good idea, starts product producing um, a medicine in a very small environment, and then is really successful in the market. How do they scale up their automation system, for example? With a web-based system, they can upgrade it without shutting down the installation. The plant and the automation system are growing um, yeah, in parallel and really efficient. Another topic that we had here is the topic of package units, modularization. We had a very interesting podium discussion yesterday here um, with guys from, from the Namur and these initiatives. How can we modularize it to standardize on the one hand side and on the other hand side be more flexible to scale up a plant or scale it down or build it somewhere else in the world? So this is something that we also complete, completely um, support here. By a push of a button, these package units can be integrated. And with this, I already talked about something that sounds like the future, but um, this is becoming reality. And with Simatic PCS Neo, and with this I will stick to the time, um, we have a completely new world of efficiency, of usability, and also of collaboration. That will be a really a benchmark and a great success for our customers later on. And um, where can we find Simatic PCS Neo, a new world of process control? You see the Sweden arrow over there, the, the flag, directly be below it. There's a big column model, and here we show live, and the colleagues will be glad to prove that I told you the truth, and you can experience it for yourself. Thank you very much. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.